In this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply the transparency tool more than once using Affinity Designer. So for this demonstration, I'm using a version two of the software, but if you're using version one, the process is exactly the same. So let's open up the program. So for this, I'm just going to draw a rectangle. So this applies to any object on the page. So if I want to add a transparency to this object, go to the transparency tool. Once that's selected, you then choose the type. So choose the type at the top. I'm going to choose linear. So this applies a transparency to the one side. Obviously you can move the markers around and so on, and you can adjust the sliders just like that. So there's no obvious way to add a second transparency, say for example, on the left-hand side. So what you need to do is go to the layers option over here. So make sure layers is selected. Then choose the object. So put your cursor over the object in the list and right click on your touchpad or your mouse and then select the group option. So then a group should appear. So if I click on this little arrow to expand, we now have the rectangle in the bottom with the slider for the transparency. And if I click on the group, the slider disappears. So I can now add a new transparency to this object. So again, make sure the transparency tool is selected and choose your type. So it looks like it's just applied the transparency to the to the right hand side again. But if I flip it rain by choosing reverse gradient, I can now adjust the other side. So you can now see there's a transparency on both the left and the right hand side. And if I wanted to add a third or a fourth or even a fifth, all you have to do is click right click on the group and select group again. So now I have uh, two groups and obviously a rectangle. So again, choose the same option, choose linear. This time I'm going to place the markers up the top and bottom. And again, I can use the sliders to adjust the transparency and so on. So that's how you can add a transparency multiple times on any object using Affinity Designer. Thanks for watching.